Hey guys, it's Jenna. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So recently, I got a ton of books uh, and really started my book collection. Uh, I got some books from my neighbor, from my mom, and from Target. So I'm going to show you all the books that I got. So the first three books in this haul um, are from my neighbor. So the first book I have is Sherlock Holmes and the Case of the Hound of the Baskervilles. I got this from my neighbor, like I said, and I picked it up because... I've heard so many good things about Sherlock Holmes. I've never actually read Sherlock Holmes, and I, I know everyone loves Sherlock Holmes. And I love, you know, investigation and different things like that. So I thought I'd get it and pick it up and finally get into the Sherlock Holmes world. The next book I got is Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, but this is an adaptation by Monica Culling. So I'm really excited about this because I love Les Miserables. Uh, I loved the musical, and I never actually read the book or anything, but I read it in school. Uh, I read the script, and I love Lady Miserab. So I have this adaptation also for my neighbor, and I'm really excited to read this. And I'm going to be reading this in a couple weeks for the reading rush that's happening in a, uh, this month. So I'm excited for this to cover, like, three of the challenges. <laughs> I'll also be talking more about this book actually in my readathon wrap up uh, haul that I'm going to do. Uh, so I'm not going to talk about it too much now, especially because I haven't read it. But yeah, you'll see this book again soon. Next up, and some of you will probably be very proud of me, I finally picked up Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I've never actually read Harry Potter. I've picked it up a couple times and tried to, but never did. And I've never gotten into Harry Potter, and so many of my friends are like, oh my gosh, you're crazy. So many people on Bookstagram are always like, you're insane. But here I am, finally getting it and picking it up. <laughs> the next two books I have are from my mom. So I told her that I don't know what I'm going to read next because I was running out of books to read. So she let me have these two books. So first off, I have James Patterson, at, uh, Sundays at Tiffany's, which I already read this book and I really, really liked it. Uh, it'll also be in my readathon wrap up video. I really, really enjoyed this book. So, this book is about a girl named Jane Margot and her invisible friend Michael, who has to leave her when she is nine years old, uh, because that's his job. His job is to be her imaginary friend, uh, until she's nine. And once she turns nine, he has to leave, uh, but she'll forget him. And she doesn't. <laughs> and she, it's 30 years later, she's a successful playwright. And they just so happen to cross paths. And she, I, it, I don't want to give too much away, but it's a really good story. And I really like it, so I recommend it. And I just started this today, but it's Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna. I've heard so many good things about The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, so I'm really excited that I got this. And I'm starting to read it. I'm only a few pages in right now. I'm like... 15 pages in so far, but we're getting there. <laughs> so far, all I know about this book is it's about two friends, and yeah, that's about it. I don't really know. I didn't really read the synopsis on the back when I started reading it. I'm kind of going into it not really knowing anything. <laughs> the next three books I got from Target, and I'm super excited because these ones are brand new. Like, these ones aren't as brand new. This one might be, but yeah, I'm so excited. So, in one of my vlogs that should be up by the time you're saying this, uh, I was online shopping and I was looking online for, at Target for books because I wanted some more books to buy because I was running out of books to read and all this stuff and the library's closed and everything. Uh, so, I got some books, but I needed to get an another book for it to be free shipping. So, I was looking online for book recommendations and I came across an Emma Books video where she was recommending books to your personality uh, like I am an ISFJT uh, so based on her recommendation I picked up How to Make a Wish by Ashley Herring Blake I'm really excited because it looked really good when I read the synopsis before buying it and it sounded really good and Emma Books recommended it so I mean of course they <laughs> I had to pick it up. So while I did hear what she had to say about this book, and I did read like the first page of this book, I didn't really get that deep into the synopsis, uh, but it looks really good and interesting. It sounded really interesting when I was reading the first page. So I'm going to have really fun reading this, I can already tell. So 
One of my favorite authors is Nicola Yoon, who wrote Everything, Everything, and The Sun is Also a Star. I picked up her husband's book uh, called Frankly in Love, and it's by her husband, David Yoon, and I saw this book on Target, and I saw it in Barnes Noble, and I've seen it a lot before actually picking it up, and it looked really good, it sounded really good, uh, the synopsis was pretty interesting, and this is going to fulfill one of my challenges for the reading rush as well, so I'm not going to read it yet. But, I am very excited to read it. And also, can we talk about the edges? Like, that's so cool. I've never seen a book like that. It's like all around. So then it looks like this when you're reading it. It's like, oh, okay. But, yeah, I'm really excited about this. And I'm excited to actually read it. Because I think I'll really, really enjoy it. And the last book I have and that I got from Target is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Uh, this book was recommended to me by Rustic Pages uh, on Bookstagram and Booktube. Uh, she really recommended this book to me and I read the synopsis, I read the first page like I did all my other books that I bought and really, really liked it. And I also have heard so many good things about Colleen Hoover, so I'm really excited to read this one and then possibly pick up more of her books. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to also subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot of uploading in the next few months uh so stay tuned also uh make sure to hit the bell so you're notified whenever i upload a new video bye guys